outside of finals, tests and state of origin, this is Rugby League's grandest occasion. The annual Anzac Day duel between St George Illawarra and the Sydney Roosters at Allianz Stadium. The heavy air of respect and reverence then became one of revenge and redemption as the tricolours attempted to erase the bitter memory of last year's heartbreaking loss in the corresponding game. However, Saints started this one much like they finished that one. He's gone out looking for Brett Morris and Ben Cray and Ben Matt Cooper. Oh, it's a try! Check, check, check it. This could be a try for Jason Ready? Nightingale. Well, last tackle. Who performed a Houdini act in Was this match last point? year. Replays confirmed that the ball had gone backwards off Matt Cooper, resulting in the Roosters conceding their first try at home in 2013. And if that was the wake-up call they needed, it certainly worked, as they switched on in spectacular fashion. And then shot to Orbison! Mitchell Orbison has scored for the Roosters! Two of the season's most scintillating tries followed in swift succession, firstly on the left edge... And then a Sonny Bill-inspired replica on the right. And here they go again, the Roosters. And the ball goes to Minicello. Minicello, the captain. He scores at the Anzac Day Spectacular. Playing in his eighth Anzac Day match. In his 14th year at the top level. He put some more icing on the cake. After leaking three tries in under seven minutes, the Dragons stemmed the flow for almost a quarter of an hour until Martin Kennedy came along. And that pass was forward, I think. Kennedy's gone in to score. Referee's checking with his officials. He's pointed to the spot. Kennedy gets a try for the Roosters. That's their fourth of the afternoon. So with 22 straight points, the hosts had taken control of this contest by half-time. And ten minutes after the resumption, they took another huge stride towards regaining the Anzac Cup. Nightingale has been caught out. Pierce got a good bounce. Maloney got a ball away. Tuabasa Jack, Tupo. Tupo is it or Tuabasa Jack? It's Tupo. Tupo has scored on the left side. Despite their coach Steve Price extending his contract on the morning of the match, the Dragons were powerless to halt the Sydney surge. Jennings is flying! Jennings has swooped in like an eagle from nowhere. The Roosters' excellence in defence was epitomised by their captain Anthony Minicello, who brilliantly thwarted Brett Morris on this occasion. However, there was no one at home when Nathan Fiend threaded the ball through soon after. Cooper! Where was Cooper? But there was to be no great escape this time, with the Roosters reigning supreme 34-10 in front of almost 41,000 fans. Their first Anzac Day success in six years. David Rollins, NRL.com.